then the next thing you want to do, and this is how when we move into uh, how to actually display the scoreboard, that you can display it in three ways. Okay, the first one is um, the sidebar, which is what you can see on the side here. So what you want to do is you're going to you want to go scoreboard objectives so it's the same as the first one set display sidebar so we're going to set whatever comes next on the sidebar and then we what did we say what did we call this let me just quickly see what I, I set this as this was um, player deaths okay so it was player underscore deaths okay done so if I hit this button I should now on the right hand side when I die see it so let me just do a kill there we go respawn and this should now actually explain to you how this works as well because now you'll see your death noob Dragnos one okay so this is the friendly display name um, and then that is the variable and the one you would use in the command blocks okay um, so for the same would be for player so let's do total kill so what I'm going to do is with this total kill one I'm not going to actually set it to the sidebar because there's three displays there's a sidebar there is a list okay okay done so if I now do oopsie if I now do this again if I hit the tab key you'll now see it displays uh, my to total kill count okay Right, and then next, uh, you have it below player name or below name. So the, the last one you can do is set display to uh, below name. Oopsie. Now it's very important that you use uh, the uppercase and lowercase exactly as it is. Right, so if I do this now, it should now set my health to below player name. So I need to actually see if... Uh, yeah, there we go. Circeus has uh, joined me. So now if you see, if I hit Circeus, uh, his health is displayed above his name. So this can be anything. At the moment, I've got health, but you could set any of the other variables to display above, above their name. Okay, so that is the three display methods that you can use.